I came out of this weekend feeling really just, I think disheartened is the best way to describe what, what I was feeling when I woke up this morning for a lot of the weekend. But after writing a script about, you know, my thoughts about everything, I sat down to record it. And while recording, I realized that's not my place. You know, I don't know enough, frankly. I've read nearly everything on Twitter. So even, even still, I don't feel like that's my place to talk about these what, what's been going on, what happened this weekend. So instead of talking about something that I don't know about, I am going to talk to you guys about something that I do know about. And that is helping people come out the other side of, of these kinds of things as survivors or as pe people have been saying on Twitter, victims. But as somebody who's fairly active in the sexual assault, sexual harassment community, because that's what this was. This was sexual harassment of, in at least one case, a minor. Um, I'm not sure how old one of the survivors was at the time that this was happening, but in one case, regardless, um, that's something that I do know about because for the past, you know, almost four years now, I've been a resident assistant at a college. And for anybody who does not know, a large part of what we do, which is very unfortunate, but that is just the way it is, is dealing with things like sexual harassment, sexual assault, stalking, which was also a little bit of this. Um, and fortunately and unfortunately, I've had to deal with several of these types of situations on my own here at school with my own residents. And I say fortunately and unfortunately because it is absolutely disgusting and terrible that this happens to people. But I say fortunately because those people felt comfortable and felt safe enough to come and talk to me about it and try and get the help that they need. So all this to say, if you are going through some hard stuff, I am here for you. My Twitter DMs are always open. And while I'm not a substitute for somebody like a counselor or a therapist, I, I know that the concept of going to see a counselor or a therapist can be terrifying. Believe me, I know. But if you need somebody to help, you know, encourage you to take that next step in, in your process, whatever, whatever that means to you, or maybe you just need to vent about life to somebody unbiased, somebody that can keep things confidential. I am here for you. So I just wanted to throw that out there. This includes literally anybody that watches this video. And once again, to reiterate, I am not a counselor or a therapist. So there are certain things that I'm not going to be able to help you with. But if you just need somebody who will listen to you and believe you, I'm here for you. I just want to end this video by thanking the survivors for coming out and speaking like they did. It was incredibly brave and something that I honestly don't know that I would have had the courage to do. So while a lot of really bad things came to light this weekend, I'm glad that they're out in the open now and that the people who have been hurt by this can start, who've been actually hurt by this and the actions of certain people can continue their healing process. I've seen so much love and support coming out of the Pokemon community this weekend that it just made me incredibly hopeful that everybody can learn from this. And I do mean everybody can learn from this and improve themselves as a person. So, and at the end of the day, that, that's all you can really ask for. So, those are my thoughts on this. I'm not gonna, you know, you will not see me on Twitter talking about it, arguing with people about it, like back talking people about it as I've seen some other people doing. So, once again, 
I'm here for you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. And uh, make a positive change out of this.